applying to uh, AWS seem to have worked for me, but I don't know if, if this is the uh, right way to do it. I'm new to Strapi and uh, kind of new. I just started learning React. I was able to run Strapi and React locally as well as on AWS. For Strapi, I used Elastic Beanstalk uh, to host it and code pipeline to deploy it. And uh, the trigger was uh, it would deploy once I commit the code to, uh, to a Bitbucket. Uh, for React, I used AWS Amplify and the Amplify seemed to have a, uh, its own pipeline built in that also builds the React part uh, when I commit code to the Bitbucket. For Strapi, I added a proc file that uh, will be used to build the project and uh, I added extra command for package JSON uh, to deploy and pm run deploy and for react i added amplify yaml file uh, to build the the uh, react part to so use dot n file to run locally and then uh, used environment variables inside uh, elastic beanstalk and uh, amplify also used certificate manager uh, with the free SSL certificate and uh, root 53 uh, where I had a subdomain as the admin for Strapi. Store images I used uh, S3 that's for the production. Strapi database I used uh, Postgre PostgreSQL uh, the free tire version uh, so what I noticed is when I picked the latest version, there was no option for uh, free tire. But when I picked uh, one before previous one, uh, one before the latest one, there was an option for free tire version. Elastic Beanstalk, I, used, I was trying to use free tire version, the micro, T3 micro, but that didn't seem to work. So I have had to upgrade to T3 small and that seemed to have worked for me. It's the process I used, so when I will update something on local for React part, I will push the code to uh, Bitbucket and that will automatically trigger uh, the build, which then I can see on production. And the same for uh, Strapi, uh, I will create something locally and then I push the code and then it will build the strappy part. And, uh, in, on, in Amplify it seems like I could have set up uh, different uh, domains um, for each branch. So I could maybe have develop, master, After the build was complete, I could see now that my changes appeared on the production side. Uh, then I added uh, update or to the local Strapi uh, version, and then I, I was able to push that to the uh, production side.
this moment it seemed it took some time to build the strappy part of the website. Yeah, I could see that my new collection type was deployed successfully to the production site. Here are the settings that worked for me in the Elastic Beanstalk. Same exact setting I had in the .env file for my local development. Things were default except uh, for the capacity I just added one instance maximum and T too small not T3 T too small Here I added SSL certificate uh, that I that I got for free from the AWS certificate manager Amplify, I could uh, easily connect my domain from the uh, root 53. For Strapi database uh, PostgreSQL, I had to uh, update the security groups, the security group. And uh, I had to update the inbound rules, so I had to add two extra rules, which were the top two ones. The certificate manager I added to the subdomain for the Strapi admin. The S3 bucket I used to store images. Uh, I could have also used S3 bucket to store images from local environment uh, just by uncommenting some code. I also, also uh, unchecked block all access to the bucket, public access. In the future, I believe I will have to modify this. S3 stores multiple versions of the same image. Uh, I guess they depend on the size, small, medium, large. If I was uncommented the if statement, I would I could have saved the images always to the S3 instead of S3 and the local 